right here. Oh. Right by our campsite. Look at that. We're just cleaning up. <laughs> just got to cleaning up. After this hard rain this morning, we had sleep in for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it finally stopped raining. It worked out for the best. And we're packing up, getting ready to go, and that walks right by us. All right, we're leaving North DeSore this morning at about 8.30, and let me tell you, we had a lot of anxiety last <laughs> night. <laughs> it was a lot, but both of us felt pretty bad. Exhausted. And then it stormed all night. We didn't know if it's gonna stop, and mm -hmm. all I could think about was having to hike in the rain for 12 miles. We wanted to get off to an earlier start. We wanted to start at six, we wanted to get up at 6.30, but it's more like 7.30 before we got mm -hmm. up and got started tearing down tent, but we did see a moose right in oh, our campsite so this pretty. morning. Yeah. So that was pretty amazing to see. Today, we're headed home, or closer to civilization. Yes. We're going to Wendigo, the end of the island. Yeah, from North to Sword to, to Wendigo. It's a 12 mm -hmm. mile hike, so we gotta get off to an early start because it's gonna be pretty rough mm -hmm. if it's anything like what yesterday was 12 mile hike but at least we have on our brains we're almost there That's we're right. almost there <laughs> back to civilization <laughs> all right this is campsite one here at north Jasor. i don't think i did a very good job last night of showing you the tent set up everything but my gosh we were so exhausted um, but you come in there's three areas i feel like they might be like double sites is what I think it is. Um, but the trail out is that way and the porta potty is that way. There are no picnic tables here. All it is is a piece of ground to set your tent up. No shelters here. But look at this view. Pretty amazing. This is the trail the moose took down this morning, so I'm gonna walk down this way too. He just jumped off in the water and took off swimming after he ate. He had some breakfast around the campsite. We got good video and photos of that. I don't know how he made it over these rocks to get in. But this is Desor Lake. And if we're not mistaken, well, I can't see it this morning, but South Desor is in that direction. Uh, the South Desor campground. But gosh, it's beautiful. More of the same trail, kind of like we had yesterday. On the rock balls and then back down into the weeds. But today, after all the rain last night, it is much cooler. We have a breeze, so it's, uh, it's not killing us. Of course, it's still early, give us time. So we left uh, <laughs> North Desor not too long ago. We're about 
three miles deep into our hike? Four. four. I think we're pushing four now. And we came to this swamp area and mm -hmm. we got way off trail. We mm -hmm. got a little nervous, but... um. We didn't go too far off trail, but it was enough to make right. us really well, nervous. The, we thought we was on trail, we was following mm -hmm. everybody's footprints, but mm -hmm. what we didn't see is the marker across the mm -hmm. swampy area here. And there's one on the other side there to let people know you're supposed to cross, right, cross here. right here. But we wandered on out that direction and it, it just stopped. There was no, there was no more tracks. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I got worried. <laughs> <laughs> so you, on the Monong Trail, you have to mm -hmm. be very aware mm -hmm. and you know it's so easy to just start stepping and not think and i was just following everybody else's yep. footprints and it took me off trail so uh, you gotta pay attention mm -hmm. on the mind. i thought i was gonna have to break out my compass and figure mm -hmm. out how to get us out of here i didn't want to go bushwhacking <laughs> i think some people go across there Y'all, I cannot tell you how thankful both of us are that that sun is hiding behind the clouds today. <laughs> we might have suffered a little bit from heat exhaustion yesterday. <laughs> About coming across, coming across the uh, Monong. Uh, uh, yeah, the Monong Trail. Ridge. Yeah, it about killed me yesterday. Yeah, it was rough. But today, so far, has been good. I think we are about... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of estimating about halfway to our last night destination, which will get us back to Wendigo and services and Dr. Peppers and snacks. <laughs> We're getting a little low on water and we still got about five miles to go. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's not many good water sources around here. We saw some swampy water, but I didn't want to use any swampy water, but mm -hmm. we came across this little pool of water up here on the Manong Ridge. It just rained last night. So check this water out and see if we can use some of this <laughs> rain water from last night. Don't stir up stuff, don't stir up stuff. Ooh, it's brown. It's a little brown. But we've got good filters on it. It looks clear. And we're gonna filter it through our Sawyer Mini filter and then into our Life Straw filter. So it'll be filtered twice. But this is what you get backpacking. Well, this is- um, Emergency. This is for emergency purposes. Mm -hmm. We got good water from Lake Tesor. Mm -hmm. So um, we're just getting this just he, in case. He says good water. It was surrounded by pine trees, so it tastes like pine. <laughs> we call it pine water, not alpine, <laughs> pine water. If you aren't ready to drink water from a mud hole, backpacking, long distance backpacking probably isn't for you. That's, that's, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> this has to be the swamp. That's what I'm thinking. It's got that algae bloom on it. Wow, this is a long boardwalk. I'm slowing down more and more. <laughs> it would be awful. Ew. Ew. It's like Florida. It's black water. Don't swim in it. Is this ever going to end? 
I'm not looking up. Oh, I see. I see. I dared to look up. Oh, we're within about three quarters of a mile of uh, Washington Creek Campground. Yay, we are done. Plenty of uh, drinking water here without mud holes. Actually, we've not touched our mud hole water yet, so I think we're good. We have made it to Washington oh. Creek Campground <laughs> at Wendigo mm -hmm. on Isle Royal. The opposite end of the island. Took us a total of eight and a half hours uh, from North to Soar to here. Um, Twelve miles. Twelve miles. Mm -hmm. So today was uh, the longest uh, mileage, ain't it? The longest mileage, but we were on the trail ten hours yesterday. Right. Because it whooped us yesterday. Yes, yeah, yesterday was very rough. Day, <laughs> but we was anticipating a very rough today, <clears throat> very rough backpacking day today. Mm -hmm. Also, however, the um, weather worked with us. Mm -hmm. um, yesterday was it was it was terribly hot. Humid hot for, for Michigan, mm. for especially this close to Canada. And then last night it rained all night, so we was anticipating rain mm -hmm. today also, but we got really lucky and we hiked all day. It's a nice cloudy day mm -hmm. and The breeze, no rain. the wind was blowing. It was, it was awesome. Yeah, awesome it, was, day. it was a great day. Um, our tent, our, much of our stuff is fairly wet, so we got mm -hmm. our tents hanging out to dry right now because our tent hanging out to dry right now because Tomorrow we're probably going to we, need it. Yeah, we are anticipating the tent again at, yes. back at Rock Harbor where we'll we be, started. We'll be taking a ferry to Rock Harbor <clears> to, <throat> tomorrow, and uh, we'll probably need a tent. Mm -hmm. So we got to get everything cleaned up and dried out. Yeah. But it was yeah. a rough day. A rough day. It but was. But not as bad as yesterday. Not as bad as yesterday, but the, the sum of the whole week is mm. uh, it's t has taken its toll. It has. I'm wore out. Uh, there are a lot of ups and downs on this island. Mm -hmm. It's constantly up and down, up and down hills and ridges. It is, but the Manong Trail, I think, is more it is, challenging. So. It is because we challenging. did um, Greenstone Ridge Trail last year. Mm -hmm. uh, 2015. Last time. Yes, the last time. <laughs> and I don't remember. I know we were tired, but I don't remember it being. Yeah. Well, it's been a long time ago. Our mm -hmm. memory's fading so That's quickly. True. <laughs> that is true. But it has been a wonderful day, and we're yeah. glad to have accomplished this. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, you're, you're like we were talking about your sense of accomplishment is huge, oh, sense of accomplishment. huge right now. Because it's, I'm glad it's over, but kind of sad it's it over. Is, yeah, yeah. We checked about seven or eight shelters before we finally found an empty shelter today, and yeah. we, were, we were very, very, very fortunate to get a shelter yes. here. Yes, because we needed it to dry we these, did. dry this stuff out. I um, mean, all of our stuff is so wet. Yes. We just need to let everything air out. Mm -hmm. I think Wendigo has the most shelters. There's a lot of There's shelters. There's like fifteen. Here. I think yes. it's about fifteen shelters and here. The shelter we got is. Um, uh, it's very common for a moose to come down in to. Um, our area, mm -hmm. our shelter to go, area. To go drink to, at the creek. Yeah, he's got a little pathway uh, down into and the creek. And we didn't know it when we picked it. But it's there, and somebody, somebody told us about yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess he comes here often and yeah. photographs, and he said him and his friends were just sitting here at the table, and this moose just comes walking by. You know, from our experience this morning, they don't mind that you're there. Mm -mm. You know, uh, he, was, he was taking care of business, doing what moose do, and we just we was just tearing down our shelters, mm -hmm. our, our, our tent, our campsite this morning. Well, I was taking a few photos. We took a few photos, but we, we was doing what we needed to be doing. He was doing what he needed to be doing, and nobody cared. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> it's very pleasant, though, mm -hmm. seeing him. The moose are beautiful, yes, so yeah. hopefully we'll see one. <clears throat> yep, yep, yep. Just a shelter. But it's not just a shelter when you're really wanting one. Mm -hmm. But we still got some more beauty to come here on our Royal mm -hmm. before we go back to Copper Harbor. Yep, yeah, yeah, we've still got to show you uh, Wendigo down at the boat docks. And they've added some stuff, stuff really since nice. we were here really last nice. time. And then the ferry ride back to Rock Harbor, Rock Harbor. Mm -hmm. and um, and then the ferry ride back to Copper Harbor. Yep. We yeah. still got a lot to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Yep, hang on if you want to see the finish of the video series. Thank you.